What's up guys? Welcome to Grease Lightning Reactions. We're here for Moshuku Tensai Jobless Reincarnation. Um, I initially wasn't going to do any reactions for this. Um, for now, the plan is to only do this first episode. Um, and if I really like it, maybe I'll continue. The main reason is that I actually didn't anticipate so many of you guys to actually mention this series um, when I was doing my real quick uh, what I'm watching next season. Um, because I watched the trailer. Um, it, it's a it's a gorgeous trailer. I, I, I do agree there. But um, the content of what was being shown didn't really pique my interest like whatsoever. Um, there are a lot of series that just have gorgeous animation and just no substance so i assume that was what this was but i've i've been reading comments and people have been saying that this uh, you know some of you some of them are really looking forward to what the show offers because of the animation and they have no idea what the actual story is like other people i have seen say that they really enjoyed the source material so i'm really hanging my hat, hat on more that side because i assume this is going to look really good just based on the trailer but um, I, I wasn't expecting too much in terms of story, so I, I figured we'd f check this out together, at least the very first episode. Um, if we enjoy it, maybe give it a go further ahead, but at the very least, um, I can do this for you guys. Here we go. Ah, oh, man, why did I click to the end again? Yeah, here we go. Three, two, one. All right. It really caught me off guard how many, it seemed like everyone was mentioning this series. It's kind of crazy. Oh, what in the world? That's an interesting art style right there. Hit by a truck. Okay. <laughs> that sound. Yeah, man, gorgeous. That voice actor, hold on. Is that Sugata? <laughs> That's gotta be. Why is it always gotta be a truck? So common. Latuk. If they're operating, they wouldn't be asking you all this, but <laughs> yeah, it sounds like you you're losing it right now. Isn't the main character like a child? <laughs> the bosom huh I wasn't expecting this Your tiny hands. <laughs> what? Okay. I'm interested. Interesting. What? So he's going to go through this entire series like this? He doesn't recognize the language, though, so he's got to learn it. Damn. Fair. You can see eye candy and nothing else. Uh, you're 
language acquisition super fast. <laughs> the maid. Uh, they switched over to Japanese now. <laughs> With some evil spirit. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, like 90% of this is the voice actor that they chose. I was like, <laughs> it looks beautiful, and this is the right guy for comedy. <laughs> Ripped. It's like, ah, uh, <laughs> not crying at all, though. <laughs> she is convinced. Hmm. The head rub? Oh, just a spell? Like a legit spell? Healing. Okay. I'm loving the presentation of this. That's another prominent voice actor right there. The Wizard King? Daijoba? It's the usual other world. What the heck? This is a rather chill show out in the um, in the interim. If you didn't have Sugata as the like the, I, I know it'd be a completely different show. But like just looking at everything else, it's a very peaceful, calm kind of impression I get. Very wholesome. If it wasn't for this pervy brain. <laughs> Light novels. They're reading a lot. that. You know, 
light this place on fire. Easy. It's <laughs> flowing from the feet. That was pretty cool. The fact that he can even do that much is kind of crazy, no? It's going to land on someone. You imagine it with more clarity, it's a better spell, maybe? Yeah. I like how they're presenting things that we've seen before, but more detailed. <laughs> you just visualized it. Nah, too tired. <laughs> oh man, they picked the right voice actor. Perfection. Wow, yeah, he's... Yeah, wow, yeah, he's just working it. He needs to get the body of his dad and like the magical ability of maybe his mom. I don't know how strong she is magically. Going at it. He doesn't even care anymore. <laughs> okay. Poor kid. I would say if it wasn't this part, but mm. I mean his his baseline is going to be crazy he'll have so much experience by the time he's able to do more I'm probably ruining the soil over there. You probably have to add an aerial element to it, right? <laughs> have, do they even know he's doing that? He did it. There's something about this show, man. I'm, I'm glad I actually reacted to this. Sounds like a summon. Or 
or just a crazy strong <laughs> well he's obliterated the side of the wall <laughs> the side of the house You look kind of creepy, yeah, what the heck? Magic Tutor, huh. He wants to teach him swordplay. Learn both. Exactly. <laughs> well done. Oh. a young lady Yeah, you can't really say that. It's a child. Yeah, damn, she's just... Yeah, she does sound like a kook when you put it that way. And he wants to go inside. Divine. <laughs> He's special because he doesn't need one. That's the one that he started with. Well done. <laughs> Repair it. Can you do a healing spell? Beautiful. <laughs> there we go. He can already do intermediate. Ah. 
No, so he's gonna he's not gonna show that off yet. And he still fired it. Yeah, it's, it's got to be something special. This episode's kind of... Oh, I was going to say, I was like... It was Oh, did he hit it? But that was him. Okay, it kind of looked like someone to punch, but damn, okay. Oh, she healed the tree. Oh yeah, she can use healing spells too. You're not fired. They've got they've got 3D audio kind of could hear it all the way over there. Thought he should have gotten hit by a truck sooner. What the hell is that sound? Yeah, we're definitely continuing this. I, I like the humor. I like the intrigue. Uh, I like how they're presenting things. Like like I said, if you just look at this as far as what's happening on screen, it's nothing special. It's how they present it that has me like wow, like really loving how they're doing it. It's just, I, I, it's just a really good feeling watching this for some reason. <laughs> it's, it's pretty casual, like, viewing. Like, you're not really thinking about, you know, like, like deep thought or anything like that it's just kind of like looking forward to how they're going to show the next thing that you've kind of seen before in a different light that's what I've, i'm kind of looking forward to and man they got the goat <laughs> my but probably my favorite japanese voice actor being the lead so um yeah all right if you guys don't know it's, it's the same voice actor that does gin from gintama he does Escanor in the seven deadly sins you know God damn. All right, guys. It's going to do it. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed that. If you did, please like and subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.